Hey, Janet. Where are you now? Good morning, Susan. I'm on the train. What was that all about? What are you talking about? Breakfast. I've prepared it before I left. I know that. I'm talking about what you prepared. I made an omelette, a salad, and some fruit yogurt this morning. I don't feel like I had breakfast. It's like a kid's snack. I see. I try to keep the nutritional balance in mind, but I don't care what you think. Make something better. My husband was satisfied with that. I don't have much time in the morning. Huh? It's your fault that you don't have time because you leave home to hang out in the morning. You're a housewife. You should take better care of your family. No, no, no. I'm not leaving to hang out. I'm going to work. It's true that I'm a housewife, but I also work, and it's impossible for me to do all the household chores by myself. Are you talking back to me? I didn't mean to. I don't need a daughter-in-law who doesn't stay home. I'll be getting off the train soon. I have to excuse myself. You're going to run away. It's not safe to use a phone while walking. Wait, I'm not finished talking with you. Do you realize what's going on in the house? It's not being cleaned properly. The laundry is piling up. Don't worry, I'll do it right when I get home. It's too late after you get home. This is what happens when you neglect what needs to be done first thing in the morning. I'm sorry, but I really don't have much time left. So if you'll excuse me, hmm. Why did Bob marry such an irresponsible woman? I'll teach you how to be a good wife later. Hurry up and come home. Do you understand? Answer me. <coughs> Oh my god, ignoring your mother-in-law? You're such a cheeky daughter-in-law, aren't you? Janet, it's already past lunchtime. Why haven't you come home yet? It's because we didn't have a good breakfast. I'm starving and so is my husband. Oh my god, it's so frustrating. You sneak out of the house early in the morning and go wandering around. You're married, but you don't even try to take care of your family. You just waste your husband's money day after day after day. Just being six years older than Bob is bad enough. Why don't you do a little more housework? <coughs> Janet, you are just hanging around anyway, so answer my calls. You shouldn't ignore my calls. Excuse me, I'm at work. Huh? I have told you many times that I am not a housewife. I work. The reason I am out every weekday afternoon is because I am at work. I do the housework after I get home, and I do extra on my days off. I mean, we've been living together for two months. Can't you just learn my routine? I'm warning you because I've learned. Just come home and do your chores. Do your duty as a wife. I'm going to a meeting now. Huh? A meeting? Yes, it's the monthly management meeting. I have some preparations to make, so if you'll excuse me, what are you talking about? <coughs> How can there be a meeting if you're not working? <coughs> Janet, cut it out. Bob, I have something important to tell you. Can I have a minute now? Uh, yeah, now is good. I'm sorry to interrupt your work, but I felt like I had to tell you. What? You, get a divorce right now. What? If you stay with that bad wife, I can see that you'll be unhappy. Mom, what's going on? By bad wife, do you mean Janet? Of course I'm talking about her. She cut corners for breakfast. She talks back to me. And she's hanging around when you are working so hard. What? I sent her a text message asking her to come home and do chores. And you know what her reply was? I have a meeting. How can a stay-at-home wife have meetings? No, that's... 
Actually, I've been talking with your father about the future, and we're thinking of putting something into action. What thing? That's a secret. All you have to do is follow our instructions. Don't worry. Oh, I guess you should get back to work. Good luck with that. Uh, yeah. Janet, I know you're probably at work, but if you notice this message, I'd like a reply. Bob, what's wrong? I just left the office now, so I'm fine. I see. So, what is it? Um, you know, I don't know what's going on either. I think my mom and dad are up to something, and... What are they going to do? I'm sorry, I don't know either. Mom called me during the day. She suddenly asked me to divorce you. Divorce? Yeah, and then she said she's going to do something. She won't tell me because it's a secret. She keeps telling me that you're supposed to follow directions and... Oh, I see. I wonder what they're up to. I'm sorry, I don't have much information. I tried to get a little more information out of her before I told you, but I thought it would look suspicious if I overdid it. It's okay, a little heads up helps. Thanks for telling me. I'm so disappointed with myself. They made a duplicate key and moved in with us, because I wasn't paying much attention. Well, I was surprised, and I'm still not convinced, but we didn't have much choice. It was right after they had a fight with your sister-in-law and her husband, who they had originally been living with, and they got kicked out. Even though your parents were at fault, we couldn't have let them be homeless. If we had them kicked out and they got sick, it would have left us with a bad feeling. But I hate myself for being controlled by my parents, who don't understand your work or your position, who have no intention of understanding you from the beginning. And I'm financially depending on you. I want to be more competent and I want you to become proud of me. Bob. Anything I can do, I want you to tell me. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Well, let me know if you get any more information. That's it? You can't make a move without information. Well, I just want you to be careful that they don't find out that you're snitching for me. And since you're not on the radar of your parents, I think that's something you can certainly do. Well, yeah. Anyway, let's take it one step at a time. Okay. Bob, I'm calling to ask for a favor. Are you on your lunch break? Oh, yeah. There's a place I want you to go. I was wondering if you could stop by when you're out on sales calls. Where should I go? Go to the A real estate in front of the S station. I'm pretty sure it's near the company you work for. Well, yeah, but why a real estate agency? Well, 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 you'll find out. I've already spoken with them, so just tell your name at the reception and they should be able to help you right away. Okay, but not until after I've taken care of some business. Yeah, as long as you get there today. But why a realtor? Is there a problem? Well, not really a problem. It's just some formalities that need to be taken care of. Don't worry, it's no big deal. What kind of procedure? I don't want to worry you, so I won't go into detail. It's just to make the house more comfortable. You could have told me first. Are you hiding something from me? I'm not hiding anything. You're a busy man. I just didn't want to worry you. I appreciate that, but I'm still a little worried. You're a worrier, aren't you? Don't worry. Anyway, if you go, it'll be taken care of. Okay, I'll be there as soon as I finish my work. Please do. Janet. Sorry, I know you're at work, but it's an emergency. Bob, what's going on? I need you to come to A Real Estate in front of S Station as soon as possible. What? Real Estate Agency? Why? My mom and dad were thinking of doing something bad. What? Anyway, I want you to come. I'll fill you in on WhatsApp. Okay, okay. S Station is less than a 10-minute cab ride away. I'll be on my way. Sorry for the short notice. Thanks. I'm sorry you had to leave work earlier. I really appreciate it. Not at all. In fact, I'm glad you were able to help us out with our plan. <laughs> well, yeah, that's for sure. Ha ha ha. 
Well, back to work for now. Just stick to the plan. Okay. Hi, Mom. I just went to the realtor. It's all taken care of. Good job, Bob. Hey, you must have been surprised, right? Yes, I was. That was a hell of a surprise. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Actually, me and your father were going to complete the formalities and then let you know. I was told that I couldn't sign any contract without your consent, so... It's against the law, of course. In the worst case scenario, you'll end up behind bars. Oh no, good to know. Now that the formalities are over, now I have to get ready to move out. About that, I know a guy in the transport company. I'll arrange the movers for the day of the move. Oh, really? Maybe I can get a discount. Then I'll let you do it. Sure, I'll take care of it. Thank you. I can always count on you, Bob. Janet, I hope you're back home by now. I'm almost there. What is it? You can't go in the house. Go to your parents' house or stay at a business hotel today. Well, you can be homeless for the day. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? I've cancelled the lease on that house. What? Bob took care of all the formalities. Um, what are you trying to say? Janet, you and Bob are getting divorced. Divorce? I'm sure you know that too. Our son's income allows us to live a luxurious life. But you skip chores and hang around every day. You're so cocky. We moved out and we'll dump you. Huh? Divorce and move out? You don't deserve a super elite son like Bob. Did he actually say that he wanted a divorce? No, he did not. What? You're trying to get him divorced while ignoring his own will? Because I don't have to ask. I'm his mother. I know he wants to leave you. Well, he is a kind boy. So I guess he couldn't bring that up. But if we separate you guys physically, it's done. Oh, I see. By the way, where are you now? In the car on the way to the new place. Bob's friend who runs a transportation business arranged a car for us. He's attentive. I see. Well, that's... By the way, do you know where you are going? Of course I do. We're heading to a nice house that Bob signed a contract for us. A nice house? We're going to live on the upper floor of an apartment with a beautiful night view. I'm looking forward to living there. That's great. Then I'm returning my husband who makes $3 a day. What? $3 a day? Well, if he really wants to divorce me... No, no. $3 a day. Don't lie to me. He is so elite that he's on the board of directors at his company. How is it possible for him to earn just $3 a day? I can understand if he's unemployed and has an allowance of $3 a day, but... Oh my, that's amazing. That's correct. Huh? He is unemployed right now. Huh? His previous company habitually flouts labor standards and he got sick, so I let him quit. Right now, he's attending a school to get his certain state certification. He brings his own lunch to school and I give him $3 a day for drinks and allowance. At the beginning of each month, this is what he asked for. Janet, that's enough. He is a board member of the company and he's been providing for us. That's me. Huh? Don't lie to me. You're just a housewife. Don't you think it's strange for a housewife to be out from early in the morning to late at night? Of course it's strange. You don't take care of the house. You hang around with your husband's money. That's why I'm trying to get you divorced. I have been a company executive before we got married. Huh? You didn't believe me when I told you before I got married. On the contrary, you agreed us to get married because you thought he became a board member. I also told you that if you would check the list of board members on the W Company website, my name would be there. You haven't checked it, have you? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I really did see your name. So, you finally looked at our website. Well, I guess it's a little late for that. You're the managing director of W Corp? Yes, I am. Company W is a pretty big company. How is it possible for someone your age to be the managing director of a company like that? By the way, my grandfather on my mother's side is the president. 
I'm going to be the next president. Huh? My parents worked for different companies. I, the granddaughter, am going to take over the company. How can you be a managing director and become the next president? So, Bob didn't pay for our living expenses since we started living together? No, I was paying for everything, including for you and your husband, who were both unemployed. Wait a minute. Then, the lease contract for the apartment that I left to Bob. Oh, he called me just before signing the contract and told me what had happened. I did not sign the lease for the apartment, and I signed a contract for another apartment. What? Another? I mean, the new apartment Bob and I are going to live in. Huh? What are you talking about? Bob is supposed to move in with us. But he's not with you right now, right? He's in a different car, but he must be following behind us. Is that so? Take a good look behind you. Oh no, I wonder how long we've been separated. Am I on the highway? Oh no, we're so far away. Why? The apartment we tried to sign up for must be in the same city. You just noticed that now? What is this? What you are heading for right now is... It's not an apartment, but a factory dormitory. What? Factory? Your uncle owns a factory, right? What? No way. Please tell your husband. You and your wife will be staying in the factory's dormitory. I beg your pardon? Good for you. You found a place to work and a place to live at the same time. Wait a minute. Why do I have to work at the factory? Because if you don't work, you can't live. And I'm moving into another house. And you won't have anyone to support you. But that doesn't mean... Give me a break. I hate that man so much. Oh, really? He's nice and wild. He's annoying. I heard your uncle lives right next to the factory. That's the worst. I have to live so close to my uncle and we work at the same place. My uncle has been strict with me since I was a kid. He's always badgering me every time I see him. Well, good for you. Why? You have a strict uncle to watch over you. It's a good opportunity for you to improve your attitude towards life. Not good at all. Hey, please get us out of the car. Don't ask me. I keep asking the driver to get us out of the car, but he just ignores me. And I hate working at the factory. And I definitely don't want to live near my uncle. Don't you think it's better than being unemployed and becoming homeless? That is, if we move in with you guys in your new house. Absolutely not. What? Well then, I'll start unpacking while waiting for Bob who's on his way here. Hey! Excuse me. Oh no, Janet! Bob should be here by now. Yes, I'm almost there. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. By the way, I was surprised at that plan. I can only thank you for your quick thinking. From now on, we are going to put our happiness first. I'll study hard and get a certification for sure. I'll be rooting for you. Bob, hey, answer me. It's not true that you're unemployed, right? You're not living with Janet, right? <coughs> Bob, please come to save us. After that, my parents-in-law seemed to be trying to escape from the car, but they had already arrived at the factory. My uncle and the factory employees grabbed them and took them to the dormitory. They finally understood the situation they were in and they finally became calm. Her uncle trained them and straightened them up. A strict work environment demanded discipline, hard work from early in the morning. Susan would sometimes call Bob in tears, telling him that she couldn't stand this kind of life and that she wanted to go home as soon as possible. But of course, he doesn't care. They brought this on themselves, so I hope that they will reflect on their past behavior and become independent. Bob was able to successfully obtain his certification and has been working hard at his new job. We would like to continue to support each other as a couple and live happily together.
Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.